Hi, this is a beginner's video on how one can spin yarn out of cotton fibers. Uh, this video is divided into two parts. The first video is about how to make sliver that is called puni and the subsequent video will be on how to make sliver into spin it into yarn. I have two species of cotton here, two kind varieties of cotton. This one is the perennial tree cotton. You can see the seeds here. This was the kind of traditional cotton used nearly till 1947 for making cotton fabric in India. It was steadily replaced by BT cotton. By 2005 we had BT cotton in India and uh, this is the surgical cotton that we'll use today. Since this video is being made during the pandemic and it is a beginner's video, I'll be mainly using everyday materials to teach how one can spin yarn with cotton fibers. So we will be for make the first step is making the sliver. This is the puni, the sliver. And uh, for that, all that we need is a painting brush, a thin, long painting brush, and surgical cotton. Now, for making sliver, that is puni, we need to straighten up the fibers. Now, this was normally is normally done on the machine. We do ginning, we do carding, and then it's rolled into a sliver. But since we are doing everything by hand, all that we are using is a painting brush. We will be spreading out the fibers and straightening them in this manner, like the swatch here. So the first thing to do is when you take surgical cotton, you know it's in a form of a roll. So first thing you do is take a small pinch of cotton. Please notice the way the fibers pull out and they all are in the horizontal direction and this is the direction we need to maintain when we pull and straighten up the fibers into the thinnest layer possible. So we now start pulling them slowly. We have to straighten the fibers in just one direction. So we keep pulling them in a way that they don't completely come out. It's all about having just the right pressure and tension on your fingers to just spread them out. You begin with the edges and slowly start moving towards the body of the cotton fiber clump. And it, while pulling it horizontally, you also try to start pulling them vertically a little so that you can spread them out. Or try making them, making the fibers in a shape which is more like a square or a wide rectangle. But it's very important that you don't leave any clumps because if this step of making the sliver is done with patience and time, the yarn that you spin will be fine, even, there won't be much slubs. So it's important to really spend time and slowly start building the and spreading out the fibers. So here I'm doing now on the left side. They are soft and surgical cotton has a slight coarseness compared to the sliver, the ready-made ponies that we get in Khadi. But again, this is a video being taken while we are still in pandemic and the lockdown. We can't move out. So we make do the, with what we have at home. So, so this is the first layer of sliver that I have made. I have sparsed out the fibers. Now this is the first layer. I fold it 
and again I start pulling them. This is the second time we repeat this at least three times so that us fibers are very even in the layers. There are no clumps. So we again spread it out. It's very, as you can see, since we folded it, the layer is very dense. So again, we make it as sparse as possible. We keep track of the directions that yeah, it was horizontal. So we again start pulling it horizontally and a little bit vertically so that we get a rough rectangular shape layer of cotton fibers. As we keep doing this twice, thrice, we do this, we slowly get the feel of the pressure that one needs to put. Initially, one can face issues where you pull too much and the fiber comes out. It's okay. It's just a matter of practice. But it's something which really is magic. That's something which is a mass of fine threads is slowly converted into a linear material called thread. And this was what was done 5000 years ago by the Indus Valley people. And it's wonderful to practice that today in the 21st century again as students. So here I have again spread this out. It's good to have a flat table, preferably a dark colored background so that you can see how your fibers are moving. You can easily see if there are any clumps which you can spread out. And I fold again for the third time and this will be the last time. And again, I start passing. So after spreading it out for the third time, this is the final layer I have got. Now we use this very thin painting brush and place it at the edge. And softly, without any pressure, we start rolling this, this fiber layer on it. It has to be very gradually and softly done. Wherever you find that it's bleating up, just spread out the fiber a little bit. This really needs to be done with a lot of finesse because this layer slowly will unravel when we spin the yarn. Now here is my sliver. I will try to I pull out my brush softly here. So this is the sliver from where I will spin the yarn. This is what is made by hand with surgical cotton. And these are the ones that we get in Khadi Bandar. They are much softer. It's much well processed yarn. So the yarn that we get from the ones we get in the market, the punis that we get from the khadi are definitely softer. But even this gives a very beautiful yarn. And this is what we will be doing in our next video on how to spin. And all we need is a pencil. You can't buy today's spindle wool. Yeah, you can get it on Amazon and places. But if you don't want to buy, the basic is... All you need is a pencil to spin the yarn.